Hi guys, I'm going to share with you my cloth diaper wash routine and I have been doing this wash routine for 19 months now and have not had any issues at all. We struggled the first month trying to figure out what would work, um, had horrible stink issues, we finally got all that resolved and I've got my wash routine down and I thought I'd share that with you guys. Now I wash every three days and I usually start the load right when I lay miles down at night. Um, it's winter time and I don't get to hang my diapers outside to dry because I don't want them to freeze obviously. Um, but in the summer I start it earlier in the day so that way they can dry in the afternoon. But I figured there's no use doing it during the day when he's still dirtying diapers um, when I could just do it at night and have them hang dry overnight. So this is what I keep our diapers in. It's just a cheap um, Sterilite trash bin with the foot pedal. Um, and I have a Planet Wise pill liner in there that I keep the diapers in. And I usually keep it open for airflow because that helps keep the smell down. Um, as soon as I change him, I unstuff pockets, spray off diapers, everything um, before I put it in here so I don't have to do anything on wash day. So I have this diaper sprayer here that um, I made and it just hooks up to the water inlet to the toilet. So whenever Miles has a poopy diaper, I just plop it into the toilet or if it's not quite ploppable, then I just use this and I just open the toilet up and I hold the diaper and I just spray it right off and it works like a charm. So it also has an on off valve there and I can turn off the water flow so that way there isn't constant pressure in the nozzle and plus if Miles gets in here, he won't flood the bathroom. And I just have it in this little container from the Dollar Tree because it does leak a little bit. And then I have some back out by BioClean in a squirt bottle here. It's an enzyme that's supposed to help with odors and stains. So I just spray that on the diaper after I spray it out and it helps to keep the odor down until I wash. So I don't have to touch the diapers or anything. I just grab it all in my pail liner and I take it to the washer. Then I just take my Thieves spray in the spray bottle and I spray it out, just kind of spray the top. Everything just to kind of help deodorize it, kill any germs or anything in there. And I leave this air out overnight and then in the morning I put in a fresh pail liner. So I just take my pail liner and I grab one edge of it and the bottom and I just turn it inside out and empty all the diapers inside of the washer. I don't have to touch anything. I don't have to go through or anything. It's all just right in there and I don't have to touch anything. Now, some people actually like to wait until now to unstuff diapers and spray diapers off and everything. I cannot imagine going through poopy diapers or wet diapers. I've been sitting there for days doing that, but hey, if that works for you, then do it. I just like to do it right when I change him so that way I don't have to deal with anything. I just throw it in there and I'm done. So I like to use Tide um, powdered laundry detergent. I buy it every couple months when it goes on sale at Costco and I really don't like using Tide because I like to use natural stuff but I have tried so many natural laundry detergents and none of them work. I just get stink issues um, and once I discovered Tide I have not had any problems. Like I said I've been doing this for 19 months. I've never had stink with Tide, never had detergent buildup. I've never had to strip with Tide or anything like that on his diapers that I'm washing. Um, I like to use natural stuff, but our washer, unfortunately, does not do a very good job at cleaning, so Tide is strong enough that it makes up the difference um, that the washer doesn't do on the diapers. Um, so I got this container at Ikea. First of all, I do a pre-wash um, with line one detergent, so I just put it in my tray here. And my washer does not have like a pre-wash um, setting on here. It does have a quick wash, which is about a 30 minute cycle, but um, I read in the manual that it's only really for um, like two or three items in the washer. And I used to do that on the diapers for my pre-wash, but I realized the diapers weren't getting clean enough. So now I just do a normal cycle, which is a little less than an hour. It's on a warm wash with a cold rinse, and I just push start. So my pre-wash is done, and now I'm going to do my main wash. So I'm going to do line four tied. Pour that in there. What are they doing? And then I'm going to put on heavy duty extra rinse because my washer uh, does not do a good job at rinsing. So it is on hot water, um, 
with a cold rinse and it's going to take about 85 minutes plus or minus a few and we have soft water so I'm not worried about hard water buildup. but if you have hard water you don't really want to do an extra rinse but I have to do them because this washer does not do a good job. So anything with PUL um, like my pockets or my shells I don't put in the dryer but everything else like my inserts, cloth wipes, pre-folds, everything I stick in the dryer. I have these wool dryer balls. You don't want to use dryer sheets, um, so I just use these and it helps to cut the drying time and fluff them up. So my dryer doesn't dry very well, so I have to put it on time dry for 55 minutes. So I have these octopus hangers from Ikea that I like to hang um, all my shells on. Sometimes I don't get the diaper laundry started in time and so I'll just leave them in the washer overnight and take care of them first thing in the morning because um, I don't like to stay up <laughs> very late and wait on the diapers. Um, we live in a very dry climate so they don't smell moldy or anything in the morning. If we lived anywhere else I probably wouldn't do that just to be safe. Um, but then my, um, my covers I just drape over this to dry. I forgot to mention I don't like to run the dryer at night when I'm sleeping because the laundry room is right next to Miles' bedroom and I just have this fear of the dryer catching on fire at night. And then my pill liner, I just hang it over this to dry and sometimes it actually ends up turning right side out which the inside, the smooth side, will still have soap suds on it. So if that's the case, I'll just give it a quick rinse in the tub just to get the soap, on, uh, soap off of it. Um, but tonight it was fine, so I'm just going to hang it up and not worry about rinsing it. So when the dryer finishes the cycle, the diapers are almost dry. The pre-fold sometimes are a little bit damp in the middle here, so what I do is I just take them out and I just drape them over the side of the laundry basket just so they can finish air drying and then just the wipes and um, my bamboo inserts. I just throw in the middle because those are dry and then I have this hemp pre-fold and all of my hemp inserts are still just a little bit damp and I don't want to keep running the dryer and use up electricity and stuff like that um, for that so I um, actually just hang dry these. I love hemp. Um, they work great for a heavy wetter. I have replaced all my microfiber inserts with hemp. Um, the downside to hemp is that it takes forever to dry. That's why I like to put them in the dryer to dry with the rest of the stuff for one cycle. And then I just hang them to dry till they're completely dry. So that is it for my cloth diaper wash routine. I hope you found it helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're interested in seeing what I do for our regular laundry routine or any of my other cleaning videos, check out the links in the description box so you can find those videos. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Diaper! Diaper!